We begin with explosive developments from the US election campaign trail. US President Joe Biden has called Donald Trump supporters garbage during a Kamala Harris event. Our Sky News Washington correspondent Annalise Nielsen filed this report. President Joe Biden has referred to Donald Trump supporters as garbage in a campaign phone call with Latino voters on behalf of the Democrats. Now, this all stems from a joke made at a rally for Donald Trump at Madison Square Garden. A comedian speaking before Donald Trump came on made a joke describing Puerto Rico as a island of floating garbage. Now, this has sparked furious response from the Democrats in particular. It plays into an important narrative for them to appeal to Puerto Rican voters. Now, Puerto Ricans can't vote in the presidential election, but there are huge populations of Puerto Ricans in America, including in Pennsylvania, where we are now. But in this phone call, Joe Biden's taken this attack one step further and essentially demonized Donald Trump's supporters. Puerto Rico, where I'm in my home state of Delaware, they're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is just supporters. This comment from Joe Biden harks back to one of the iconic moments from Hillary Clinton in the 2016 campaign, where she called Donald Trump supporters the deplorables. You know, to just be grossly generalistic, you could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. <laughs> right? The Trump campaign was quick to respond to these comments. Senator Marco Rubio from Florida came on stage at Donald Trump's rally in Allentown, Pennsylvania, to condemn it. Just moments ago, Joe Biden stated that our supporters are garbage. <laughs> are garbage. He's talking about the Border Patrol. He's talking about nurses. He's talking about teachers. He's talking about everyday Americans who love their country and want to dream big again and support you, Mr. President. And I hope their campaign is about to apologize for what Joe Biden just said. We are not garbage. Remember, Hillary, she said deplorable. And then she said irredeemable, right? But she said deplorable. That didn't work out. Garbage, I think, is worse, right? But he doesn't know. You have to please forgive him. Please forgive him. For he not knoweth what he said. These people, it's terrible, terrible. Terrible to say a thing like that. But he really doesn't know. He really, honestly, he doesn't. And I'm convinced that he likes me more than he likes Kamala. Joe Biden soon after tweeted, earlier today I referred to the hateful rhetoric about Puerto Rico spewed by Trump supporters at his Madison Square Garden rally as garbage, which is the only word I can think of to describe it. His demonization of Latinos is unconscionable. That's all I meant to say. The comments at that rally don't reflect who we are as a nation. Not only is this comment likely to be the focus of the Trump campaign's attack during this final week of campaigning, it's also indicative of how much much trouble Kamala Harris has had managing Joe Biden as part of her election campaign. Axios has reported that Joe Biden's left multiple days open in his calendar to join Kamala Harris for campaigning, and she's essentially ghosted him, not wanting to connect herself to the legacy of the Biden years as his personal approval rating hits all-time lows. And also, it becomes an issue trying to manage these kind of gaffes at such an important moment. Annalise Nielsen, Sky News in Erie, Pennsylvania.